here we've got another little video showing how we can deal with some artifacts that, are, that might appear in your images. This is one of the students' photographs um, that they, men they mentioned that there was a bit of digital noise apparent in this. So I'll just um, hit the space bar here. I've downloaded it from our um, course. And uh, oh, uh, actually, that's probably a better way rather than doing the full page. So as I mouse over this um, with the loop, um, you can see that there is, in fact, some artifacts that are showing up. Well, hopefully you can see. I don't know if, uh, how big your monitor is. Uh, but in these darker areas, you might see some artifacts that are appearing in this image. So um, I'm in Bridge just now, so I'll open it up in Photoshop. Now, what, what I'll actually do here, rather than open it directly in Photoshop, if I double click on this um, on this icon here, it will in fact open it up in Photoshop, but I still do have an, an alternative. So I'll just close that. I'll move back to Bridge. And when I'm in Bridge, I can click on this icon here and tell it I want to open in Camera Raw. And you may find that Camera Raw, in fact, is going to give you some advantages when you're trying to deal with um, digital noise or artifacts. And remember, we talked about some of the basic settings. You know, you can change the white balance quite easily in here and, and uh, adjust the things. I won't bother mucking around with that too much here. Um, and I can change the exposure and whatnot. But the thing we are interested in just now, I'll just zoom in a bit and we'll look at this uh, uh, representation of the kind of digital noise. It, it, it isn't actually probably strictly speaking digital noise there. It, it's kind of artifacts that are being caused by um, being in that low light situation and it's getting to the extent of what the sensor can actually um, record. So uh, all, you've got all these controls here to make adjustments to your image, which I'm not going to bother with. You've also got the um, the tone curve that you can work with, with and, and of course there's presets on this um, that you can use and you can, again you can move that tone curve around um, to, to make adjustments just by clicking and dragging it. But what we want is this detail area here. And, and to reduce the noise, I'm just going to slide this luminance slider of for noise reduction to the right. And what, what you'll see is that, that those artifacts start to disappear. I'm going to zoom out just a touch because there is a trade-off here. Um, I'm using my space bar just to move this picture around. But if I, say, go to this area here of the picture, um, then you'll see the trade-off quite apparent. So that, that uh, picture of a picture, the photo of the picture here, um, if I hit the P key on my keyboard, it, uh, right now it's previewing what the digital noise reduction is doing. If I hit the P key, it shows the original. That, and, and then to put the preview back on, I hit the P key again. So you can see that it's actually uh, getting rid of a lot of the artifacts. Hopefully, you can see that. And um, and obviously you can choose how much you want to slide that up and and try using the other sliders there. Um, it's still in camera raw now and when I open the image it will actually open it in Photoshop and then I can do any other adjustments I may want to do in Photoshop. But that's now that image will have that digital those digital artifacts reduced and um, and you can then start to do things like sharpening if you want to, you know. So uh, if you think that um, a bit of sharpening is going to advantage your picture, where have we got our sharpening? Uh, we may not even have one here. No. Um, you can actually sharpen the image by going up to Filter, Sharpen, and then go to a series of things here. There's a Smart Sharpen, which is often a good one to use, or the Unsharp Mask, which was the traditional one that users would use. And if you are using Unsharp Mask, rather than adjust these so that you're increasing the amount you're going to be doing and the pixel radius and the threshold, if you leave it at those defaults and then if it isn't enough with that first one, then you can always hit it again. What, what's actually happening here is, I'll zoom in very closely on some of this uh, information here, and as I increase that sharpness, um, so I'll go to Unsharp Mask again, and as I increase the sharpness, it's actually increasing the apparent um, edge 
differentiation between the where it sees a contrast with an edge it, it increases that edge definition now if you do too much of that it, it actually um, is going to deteriorate your image you've got to be very careful with some of these things and in fact your camera will be putting a bit of sharpening into your JPEGs if you're not shooting in RAW then your camera is in fact putting a bit of sharpening into the JPEG it captures um, it's just a standard thing because uh, digital images tend to be a little bit on the fuzzy side so that uh, that's the end of that video on digital noise and reducing artifacts but hopefully it'll help you a little bit with some of your images <laughs>